South African Council of Churches as an important component of civil society uh, initiated a process of unburdening. Basically, anybody involved in mass malfeasance, would you like to come to us as religious figures and unburden yourself? Tell us what happened. Uh, how did you do it, etc., etc. And the outcome of that was the release of a report in May 2017, uh, which documents the accounts of corruption and state capture from members and whistleblowers in, different, uh, in their different congregations. It now seems that the problem is far greater than corruption, but organized chaos. We have now come to learn that what appears to be chaos and instability in government may well be a systemic design of the madness that ills our governmental environment. But this is an excellent example of uh, our democratic balances, if you like, in our society, Chairperson, where the religious community also saw it as their responsibility to both analyze and bring to the awareness of the South African public uh, what was going on and how do you paint a picture of what was going on so that we both, we all understand uh, this phenomenon called state capture. So I want to suggest that there are uh, many people inside and outside of government who A, uh, began to understand state capture for what it was, B, did offer resistance, C, themselves were then became victims uh, of harassment and attacks of all sorts. Um, and then uh, the kind of events that took place at the Treasury in late 2015, the manner in which the nuclear issue was dealt with, for example, all began to suggest that there was more to it than an individual act of what we today call corruption. Um, that there's, there's a wider set of uh, intentions and uh, scheme, if you like, that, that underpins it in, in, in some way. And the connecting of the dots began uh, uh, late 26, after the kind of harassment that we were subjected to during 2016, uh, Chair, is, is uh, I think what Mr. Jonas was told by the Guptas, uh, that if he accepted the finance uh, position, one of his priorities would be to get rid of four officials and they were named as the Director General Fuzile, Mr. Momoniat, Mr. Donaldson, and Mr. Brown, amongst others. Now, in an institution like Treasury, but indeed SARS as well, and I'm sure many others, institutional uh, wisdom and knowledge is quite crucial. If you lose 20 years of experience, and Mr. Fuzile, for example, was at the Treasury for 20 years before he left for his current position, and uh, that 20 years can be taught in two.